Hey, it's time for my massive makeup decluttering video of the year. I am decluttering tons of my makeup today. Starting with foundations, we're going to jump right in. Maybelline Fit Me, Shine Free Radiance. Don't like it. I really don't like sticks. A stick has to be super special for me to like. Let's get on in here to these other sticks by Terry. I said this was a great one at one time, but it's past its prime, and I hate the fragrance. No more fragrance. Maybe I should like anything in here that I think has a lot of fragrance. Samples are going. Don't need them. Don't want them. Tarte. Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I did not like this. Lots of settling in my fine lines and wrinkles. Tarte. C Hydroflex sample, lots of settling. Maybelline BB Cream. This is one of my holy grails, so I am going to keep this and finish it, provided I don't have a reaction to it. I'm going to test that very carefully. Tinted Moisturizers, Laura Mercier. I hate the one that's the regular one. I'm decluttering that, but I do indeed really enjoy using Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. I have dry skin, so as long as I moisturize first, I put this on top, and I not as a moisturizer with my fingers, but with a brush, stippling brush, and I really like it. So I'm keeping this. Hate this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hours. I mean, this is brand new. I just barely used it. Way too heavy, way too much coverage for me. This is that Misha... Made in Korea BB cream. Mm -mm, no, it's, um, what was wrong with it? I don't even remember, but I don't like it. Hard candy is going. These are tinted moisturizers. It does not sink in. It just kind of sits on top of my skin. Looks patchy. Instant age re eraser. Treatment makeup. You know, I'm not even sure. <sighs> I'm going to keep this one to test. Maybe. This is going to be a, the maybe stick. The Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer by Maybelline. No, I don't like it either. Yuck. And then um, a lot of these Maybellines I don't like. Dream Matte Mousse. I don't like this. Too heavy. It feels greasy. Um, Dream Liquid Satin. I actually do like this, but it's the wrong color or it has oxidized. I'm not sure which. These Maybellines all oxidized fairly quickly on me. I have the color Classic Ivory, but it's very orange looking on me now. The Fit Me's. Um, I kind of did like the Dewy and Smooth one, but both of these colors are wrong for me. They are too warm. I have what color? 118 Light Beige, 120 Classic Ivory in the Matte and Poreless. The Matte and Poreless, way too drying for someone with dry skin. This one is all right if used sparingly with a brush and if the color was right. But the color is wrong for me, so I'm getting rid of it. Boom. Another little sample, the Balm Tinted Moisturizer. Hated that. Didn't work. Tinted Moisturizer is not one of my favorites. I would just rather have a plain natural finish foundation on top of a real moisturizer that I use. I have better luck with that. Um, Milani Conceal and Perfect. I don't remember. <sighs> I guess I'm putting that in the maybe. Sephora Best Skin Ever. It's just the wrong color. Uh, getting rid of my... Giorgio Armani. I've had this. This is the one bottle of makeup I had long before I started my channel. I've had this about six years. <laughs> Definitely expired. Here's my little merit stick. Um, I'm going to keep it. I don't seem to grab it very often. There's not a lot of coverage. I just like a liquid foundation I can put everywhere, not just a little touch up here and there, but it is merit, and I don't react negatively because to anything merit it's a clean formula clean brand so i'm going to hold on to it it's one year old healthy skin liquid makeup 
from Neutrogena. I would maybe think about keeping this, but I have my absolute favorite Neutrogena makeup in two different colors. This does not settle. It's Neutrogena Hydro Boost with the, this is really one of my holy grails. I need to update my website to say it's on the holy grail list. It has a funky doe foot, which is weird, but I still like it. It does not settle. It actually is advertised as does not settle in your wrinkles. It doesn't. Well, my big heavy one up here, yeah, yeah, it does for that. Keeping that definitely. Getting rid of decluttering this healthy skin Neutrogena. Now, if you don't know me already, you might be like, boy, she's getting rid of everything. It's because I'm moving away from doing testing and buying so much makeup. I just don't want to do that anymore. Revlon 3X Age Defying. I have worn this, look how dirty the top is, and used this a lot for days that I'm doing my videos. It, it was very full coverage. It's too warm toned though. It's oxidized. So it's time to say goodbye to it. Goodbye. Whew. And okay, so this little container is empty. Okay. <clears throat> Whew, so many memories in a way. Let's start with stuff I hate. This makeup, this Maybelline Green Edition foundation. Gross. You know, it kind of feels good. It has like a slippery, oily feeling, but I never wear foundation unless I have skincare and then sunscreen underneath so it's not going to do me any good to keep those because i'm never going to wear them on bare skin let's see let's try some stuff i've never opened never opened i'm going to put this in my mega giveaway box not going to declutter that one I'm not well i'm decluttering it probably put this in the giveaway box too because i think it's somewhat sanitary the way just a tiny little bit comes out. Maybe I'll just clean it off right now. This 4-in-1 Perfector, not a bad product. It does kind of hide my texture, but it's just a little thick for me. It's sort of like putting on like whipped cream on your face. Whipped matte makeup, that's what it's called. True Match Lumi L'Oreal. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I even tested this enough to know. So I'm keeping it. Um, I know I can declutter this. I hate this stuff. Superstay. This is really new though. Maybelline Superstay Active Wear is really hardcore. <laughs> you put it on and it's like, <clears throat> it doesn't blend easily. It's stuck. So, you know, like for a younger person who wants to go play tennis with makeup on or something, Let's see how I may... Okay, no, stop. I don't need to, like, question every single thing. I'm putting it in the declutter. This one's tough for me. L'Oreal True Match Nude Serum Foundation with the dropper. I just hate this dropper. I don't seem to grab it, and it kind of... I have a little bit too much settling with it compared to some of my others that never hardly settle into my wrinkles at all, so I'm going to declutter it. Uh, Revlon Colorstay Light Coverage. No idea. No idea. I do like this plastic. It's so light, like for traveling. Hmm. Oh, and I do like that dropper. Okay, I'm going to have to retest it. Reactions or no reactions. I have to test that again. Dream Radiant Liquid. <coughs> Urban. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that was loud and gross and dramatic. What's it called? No. Hydrating Foundation. No. I bought this, and I think it was like already oxidized when I bought it. Dream. Same with this. Wrong color don't like it. Dream Urban Cover. These have been out for so many years and I just wanted to try all the Maybellines. Mm -mm. Hate this. Elf Flawless Skin. No. All right. Serum Foundation by Neutrogena. Here we go again with these serum foundations. I did like this at first. 
Something happened to it. I don't know. It didn't stay fresh long enough. It's too orange now. And the serum foundations, like if you're sealing it in with a primer and then you try to put a serum foundation on top, wouldn't common sense tell you the serum's not really going to soak in? It's just going to slip around a little bit. What happens when it slips around? Settles in your wrinkles. Ugh. This is uh, oldie but a goodie. It's time to... I think it might be time they've reformulated and that you have a pump now. So if I try it again, I will get the newer package and stuff. Cover Stay 24-hour natural finish Revlon. Didn't really like this. I don't remember why. And then this Wet n Wild. Can't believe I'm getting <coughs> rid of this, but it's too orange for me now. Definitely due to all the chemical problems I'm having, I want to get rid of this. It is a beautiful foundation if you can stand the fact it smells like paint. Elf Camo Cream. I have never even pumped this out. <laughs> I've got the other one, the It Cosmetics. Both of these are too, there's just too much coverage. I currently don't use them because it's too much coverage for me. I've worked pretty hard. I had that laser a year and a half ago. Yes, a year and a half ago now for my age spots. I use niacinamide, Retin-A, tretinoin. So I've worked really hard. I'm showing you my face, but I have foundation on. I have the Tom Ford foundation on today. I'm keeping this. I love this. Maybe I mentioned that already. I don't know. I'm going to put this in my giveaway. Oh, Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Rescue. This is one I really like. I'm going to keep this, you know. Revlon Candid Natural Finish. I'm going to put this in the giveaway. I don't even remember. I remember that it's nothing special. I remember I don't like this. Skin Perfecting Biome mm -mm, from Almay. And I've got that little dot. See that dot of fingernail polish? What that means is it's uh, 2021. It's when I purchased it. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. L'Oreal Infallible. This is a very popular foundation. It is just not for me too much coverage or something. I do like this. This this is, I just bought this uh, like a lot, mm, six weeks ago. L'Oreal, before Christmas, Age Perfect Serum Foundation, Ro Rose Ivory. I'm definitely keeping this and testing it a little more fully. This is the wrong color. Yves Saint Laurent, this was given to me. I won this in a giveaway box. <laughs> wrong color. Cover Girl Clean Fresh. It, this is sort of like skin milk. It's kind of like a tinted moisturizer. It just sits on top of my skin and looks patchy. It doesn't soak in. I can't seem to get a smooth finish with it. Oh, yeah. I actually like this CoverGirl Smoothers. <laughs> I'm going to keep it and test it again to see if the color still works for me. This is probably a year old. You know, you got to really like like basically stand on your head to get this in the store it's always at the very bottom it is so og i like it it is definitely i'd like it more if i quit throwing it down definitely kind of like it's got a primer in it already neutrogena healthy skin age perfector i don't remember all i remember is i tried it and i like this Hydra Boost better from Neutrogena. That's all I recall. And it has the purple dot, so it's 2021. It's time to get rid of it. Elf. Oh, I've still got more. <laughs> Hold on. Hmm, where are they? Well, we'll just do this whole another container while we're at it. What have we got? We have more balmy powders. Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten Medium. There's nothing wrong with this. It has talc. I like the baked thing. It doesn't do me any favors. It's supposed to be for older ladies, but 
The main thing is it's a medium. I don't, I need a light. Bare Minerals, Bare Pro, Powder Foundation, barely touched this. I have <laughs> fogged up the mirror with my hot breath. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to do about that. Bare Mineral Matte Fair 01. I should say minerals. I'm going to declutter it. I'm letting it go. I really have my, my, my groove down with a liquid foundation stippled with this magical brush, Sephora 64. So I'm not that interested. Definitely not interested in this. Look how orange it is. Creamy Powder Foundation by L'Oreal. Definitely not. No. Whew. Okay, all of these are powders here. Age Perfect, this new balm by L'Oreal. I kind of like this, but look at the color. I'm going to keep it. It's relatively new, and I'm going to try it one more time before I declutter. So I'm basically, no, not finished yet. And I have these two brand new e.l.f. Camo powder foundations. I wasn't sure. e.l.f. had a huge 60% off of a bunch of stuff. I bought it. I have the color. This is Light 205 Neutral. And then I bought this one in Light 280 Neutral. I may put the, the only time I really like powder is in the hot, humid south. Or a vacation, a tropical vacation, when you're just sweating. The idea of putting liquid on, ugh, it's just so unappealing, no matter how it looks. So I may keep this for traveling. I'll figure out which one of these colors works for me. And um, whether I like this or not, I think it's the color that bothers me on this. And then I'll make a decision and keep one. All right, we are decluttered. Do you want to see what I have left? I have, I don't really have a, something I can like hold them up for you. Yeah, I do. Hold on. This will be my display tray. I have the word new. <laughs> okay, so these are my foundations. to get rid of this. I know I don't like it. This Instant Age Rewind, it's a nothing burger. And then I'm going to get rid of this Conceal and Perfect. I think the problem is it's too heavy. I mean, I remember using it a couple times and was like, eh, I don't know. it's a nothing burger would be a good way to describe that. I love this Fenty Easy Skin Blurring Drops. Love you, love you, love you. Love you, oil-free tint and moisturizer from Laura Mercier. I love my Time Ford. I like but don't love this Estee Lauder Futurist Hydra Risk Rescue. I don't remember if I like this Lumi or not. I like my BB cream from Maybelline. Now, this is the one with the pink, okay? See, the letters are pink. The one with the blue or green, I don't like that one. This one is called, what is so special about the pink? Hydrating Beauty Balm. And then I kind of like this. Um, I probably will use it or use some of it. This L'Oreal Radiant Skin Age Perfect Radiant Whatever Serum Foundation. Again, with the serum foundations. Um, Age Perfect Balm. I'm going to give that another whirl. And then I love, love, love this. So um, someone, Shannon, hi. If you're watching, I'm not going to say your whole uh, username, but you know I'm talking to you. Let's see. What can I identify that? Um, go Razorbacks. Let's see. My favorites, Shannon, are these right here. It's very easy. Tom Ford. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. It costs a fortune. Hydra Boost. I'll definitely, this is like a go-to foundation for me. Once I learned how to put it on, I will repurchase this. This has lasted a long time. I haven't used it like, <clears throat> excuse me, in, I haven't used it in six months. 
but I will repurchase this probably. I don't know. Um, all of this depends on retesting if I have any problem with the fragrance whatsoever. It's out of here. Or like making my face fire engine red, like having some sort of reaction. It's out of here. Is it Laura Mercier. Uh, I think I'll get rid of this because I think if it was remarkable, I would have remembered already. I used it and I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Well, I don't know though. It has like this top like, the Mac and body, Mac face and body. Ooh, I'm on the fence on this. I'm supposed to be. Okay, no, get rid of it. I only have one face. Here are my foundations that I'm keeping. Ooh, it seems like so many. This is not minimalist to me when I look at it, but still, still good. All right, that feels good. Cream blush. <laughs> Cream blush is next. Oh, it's a lot. All right, on to the cream blushes. I'm doing them because I have so many and it's time. This is going to be hard for me, so just consider yourself warned. Let's see, the first one. Oh, well, it's not going to be hard at first. Um, gel Crush Flower. Don't really like it. Feels dry. Ulta Too Cheeky Stick. Feels dry. ABH. I paid. This is one of the first ones I bought for my YouTube channel. Too dry. Hard to put on. It was dry right out of the gate. This milk. I used to love it, but I've had it too long, and it's dry now. Physician's Formula Dewy Elixir with a pump. It is not enough pigment for me. Uh, if you're super fair, it might be perfect. Undone. This needs to be thrown away, not... Cheek Heat Maybelline. Really don't like it. It's... I don't like blush in a tube. For some reason, I always squeeze out too much and it annoys me. So, do I have any more tubes here? Yes, I do. This one I hate. Cheek Do Serum by ColourPop. Separates. Don't like it. This I hate. It's just like lipstick. NYX Wonder Stick. I just bought this. I tried it once. Yuck. It, this is new to the market. I'm putting this in my giveaway because it's so, like, almost pristine. I don't think anybody's going to mind. Profusion. This was nice. I like it. It's unusual, but it just has no staying power. You get, like, an hour or less on your cheeks. I hate to get rid of that because I really do like it. Fenty Cream Petal Popping. Spent a lot on that one. I don't have anything that color, so that's that's a maybe. That's a maybe. Oh, I know I can get rid of these Morphe's. I'm off of Morphe. I'm just sick of their BS. They're like about out of business anyway, if you ask me. All these Morphe 2 whipped. Getting rid of them. This Bite Size Elf. Oh, lip balm. <laughs> Getting rid of it. Flower Beauty Balm. Keeping. LYS. This is getting old. Higher standard, but I have it on right now today, and I do like it. Have, have to use a brush. Keeping. Merit. I will keep no matter how old it gets. I love these. Where's my other one? Love these. Love these. Love these. I wish they had... I wish they stay wore longer. Cream blush. It's, you're just not going to go all day. It's very rare. Let's see. Um, rose ink. I do like this color. I'm keeping it like the color. It's time to let the melt go. I do. I did really enjoy using this melt Honey Thief, but I've had it forever. I'm going to let it go. Let's see. Burt's Bees, for sure. I'm going to let it go. It's too stiff of a formula. And then, oh, what else? All these sticks here. This Wet n Wild. This is a 
dupe for a Charlotte Tilbury sparkly something something. The problem with this is for me, oh God, I don't want to get rid of this $3 thing. It is the smell. I need to stop with the chemicals. I do. I'm going to get rid of it. Milani Supercharged Cheek and Lip. I have two of them. I like these. I like these. I don't know. That's tough. Morphe, again in the tube. No more tubes for me. I like this. This you can't even buy anymore. I bought it on the NYX website. It's a hot, hot, wet jelly blush. Very messy. Very messy. Let's see. Bear with me. Cannabis, of course. Seed oil. Jelly cheek color. You know why I like it. It lasts forever. You will get all day wear with this big hot mess. It's a pain to put on, but when you need something, get it. it I don't even know where you're going to find it anymore, but I'm not decluttering it because I like it. Undone Water Blush. Mm. I'm keeping it. I like this one. It's more of a cheek stain again. Oh, look at all these elves. I have every color of putty blush. I was going to make a video and show you all the colors. And look at this. I even have another one. <laughs> more than I can hold. <laughs> oh, <coughs> I have never opened them. I tell you what, I'm going to get rid of the colors that I know I will never wear, which would be this one, this one, this one. These are way too vibrant and dark and orange for me. I'm going to put them straight into my mega giveaway. And then that leaves all of these colors right here. Ah, uh, so many. I just bought them, though. This one looks orange. These two look really, all of these look orange on the camera compared to in here. I'm keeping them. I got to keep them. I can't work through them yet. This Milani Cheek Kiss, I did really like this, but I like these other ones better. I guess it's, is it in that color family, but this is so intense. That's the problem with Milani is intensity a lot of times it's not subtle enough for my light complexion so it looks kind of dramatic if i was a um what's the next there's fair light medium if i had medium or darker i think i would keep this i've had it a while though here's a kosas lip oil mixed in i don't know how that got there oh the tart water this is not called water it's called cheek stain it was a limited edition, and a lot of people hate it. I mean, it literally sometimes drips in humidity, but it lasts. There again with that. I love it, so I should keep it. I like it. And then I'm keeping my Rare Beauties. I love these pinch, cheek pinches or something. ColourPop, Super Shock, Birthday Suit, Cheek. Do I have some other things that I like just as well as this? It's the color. It's okay. It's very pink. I don't know. <laughs> Keep it. And then I think it. my box looks big because I have so many. My baked. I was just looking for this today. Um, I like these. I like baked products instead of powder keeping it. Really though, that needs to go in my regular blush, my powder blush box. Honest Beauty, too dark for me. And it's really not stale, but too dark. So here we are. This is what we've got so far. Oh man, this is heavy. <laughs> it's all this foundations. We're just going to keep going. This is going to be a long video. Here are my blushes, my cream blushes. 
this will go fast this will go fast i was wanting to do this already this is i found this in my suitcase physician's formula blush they still make this little thing i never use this i had it in my suitcase because i can't even get it open anyway it has the little hearts okay look i have every single bite size elf never opened because elf has these sales i even wrote the names on the back watermelon stuff like that getting rid of them don't want them i really don't want a powder highlighter what's going to happen on these is this highlighter is going to get in the blush it's just a matter of time and i do not like a high beam highlighter so this is it's just not a good fit for me these two elf blushes are blah nothing to write home about have barely even tested them don't even know if they still make them both or the packaging or whatever declutter declutter i have very few blush blushes that i like um age perfect Radiant Satin Blush in Berry. No, I'll take a cream over that any day of the week. I like this Monday Feels. It's got, uh, maybe I just like cannabis in my makeup. It smells like coffee. Not really cannabis. It smells like coffee beans. And I love this color. It's a nude keeping it keeping my little baked milani baked blush i'm keeping my laura geller ras it's called raspberry they don't even make raspberry anymore it's got a different replaced with a different one 2021 but these powders i feel like they stay okay vintage rouge is this blush or I hate this Physician Formula packaging. It is so thick. I hate it. Yuck. Not going to do that anymore. This is a bronzer. Moving on to bronzers, I think. Yes. Laura Geller Medium. It's way too dark for me. Way too dark. Cream. Bronzer. Fenty. I never seem to grab it anymore. It's that amber cheeks out, that really cold. It's more of a contour for me than a bronze. Is it even called contour? It's called bronzer. I'm keeping it. I paid too much for it. NARS Laguna. I don't want it. Don't want it. Too dark. Too dark for me. And this is too brown butter bronzer i don't know this physician's formula i don't even know if i've tried this enough that's tough declutter i've used this quite a bit this milani silky matte powder bronzing powder in zero one sunlight i'm gonna keep it so I have two, I only have two bronzers left in my Merit bronzing stick. I love this one. Love it. Keeping that one. Then I have this Drunk Elephant Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I can't even tell you if I've ever used that. Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Cream Contour, brand new. Does a person like me need this? no 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 here's this milani little blush that powder blush like a rose tea rose powder let's see i do like it but not that much the package is heavy it is kind of pretty do i have this color already in one of these other powders it's very much let me just do my colors real quick I want to see if it's the same color, basically, as this. 
No. Is it the same color as my Monday Feels? No, these are all, I don't, I don't think it's crazy to have four cream blushes. Let me think about it. These, they're all kind of old. This is the only one that's fresh. But they don't, I don't think these powder blushes are really stale, so to speak. And then I have these so many luminous putty, elf putty blush. I know I don't like the, oh, this is bronzer. Putty bronzer and then this luminous putty bronzer. I do not like the luminous. I haven't even tried it though. I'm not going to like the luminous. I know I won't. I don't want luminous there and there where I put bronzer, luminous under here. I don't want that. I'm going to put it in the giveaway since I have not even swatched them. I did really good on these powders. <laughs> really, really, really good on the powder, blush, and bronzer. This is what I'm down to. <laughs> this is a lot for a person who claims she uses only cream eyeshadows. <laughs> All right, let's go through and pick out everything. Oh, I didn't put a note on this. Hell no. <laughs> Hate this. Cover girl, whatever, little quad. I could not get any payoff on that. What else do I hate? No. <laughs> I put a note. No. Let's take the note out and declutter that. Those are just kind of yucky. This one is brand new, and I, well, I swatched it and tried to use it yesterday. No. L.A. Girl. It is fresher, though, isn't it? Maybe I should go through and get rid of the ones I know are very, very old or very bad. This is Mac Studio Cold Stone. No. This was a TJ Maxx that I got just to see if it was like the Mac. Mac 9x9, 3x3. It's really 3x3. Three three. What's it called? Amber Times 9. I do like this. Keeping that one. Urban Decay. I have not even used. I got a fresh one. <laughs> used it like once in the past year. I had a one years ago. I'm keeping it. Hourglass. This is starting to get old. And honestly, the colors are too dark for me. I need to face reality. It's going in the giveaway box. Elf Rose Gold Sunset. What do you think? That's a tough one. These are not really colors I like. There's a lot of orange in here. Declutter. Viseart. I do like this formula. These color. I'm keeping this one. This Viseart formula is good. Milani, I'm getting rid of. It's time. It's time to let it go. Most wanted. I'm not crazy about the Milani formula at all. Now, they have re-released these in a new formula. I'm not going to be trying it. So, keep that in mind. Let's see. I have these little Ulta individuals. It's okay. Nothing great. I'm getting rid of them. Um, oh, keeping these. <laughs> My Natasha Denono tiny palettes that come in the Sephora boxes. I really like the Natasha Denona formula. And then I have a Natasha Denona, Denona single. And then I have this Wet and Wild Nutty, which is a shimmer. Like, I really need this. I do want to tell you, though. Is that the shimmer? Yeah. That this is an excellent product. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep it. That's not, I have so many neutral nude shimmers already. I don't need it. Don't want it. Revlon. I like this. 
Color stay day to night. I actually kind of like this formula. I'm keeping this one. Maybelline. <laughs> oh, this sucks so bad. So bad. No. All right, and then Ilux, LA Girl. Oh, yeah, I know what I was going to say. I can't get any color payoff. It's almost these three. Only this one shows up. These three, you have to work and work and work to even get them to show up at all. So that's a no. And then this NYX Ultimate Edit. I don't know, but that's way too orange for me. This is pretty new. I think I swatched them once. All right, look at this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <coughs> oh, here's a wet and color icon, wet and wild, walking on eggshells. Mm -mm. Don't like the formula at all. Here are the bite size. Lordy, Lord, Lord. I can't even hold all the bite sizes that I have. Here they are. They're pretty much new. Have I even swatched them? Here's another icon. Unopened. Giveaway box for sure. Another color icon, Wet n Wild. I put nice on here. So I liked it. One time I liked it. And one time I didn't. Drugstore. Random stuff from the drugstore. Um, I am going to keep my little br brush clean. I'll have two of them. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I have two of these. I like the square one better from e.l.f. because it's smaller. So I'm getting rid of the bigger one. And then I don't know what to do about... Oh, yeah. I have this. It says Decent. It's Hard Candy Moods. It is decent. But I already have like these to use. I have already have too many others. Not going to do it. Um, so, the Bite Size Elf. You know, I have a whole bookshelf of eyeshadow palettes that I don't use. So I'm getting rid of all the Bite Size. Putting them in the giveaway Except if I see the one that's called rose water, I've used more than the others. This rose water needs to be thrown away because it's it's old and I've used it a lot. These I don't even think I've dipped a brush in. All right, this is what I'm down to on my small quads. I had that whole thing was full, and now I'm down to this. I have to take a break and let my camera cool off. Hey, so I'm back from lunch and I'm going to keep decluttering. I don't have my glasses on. I'm doing lipsticks. I have this right here. Lovely. <laughs> and then I have this tray. So, this should be fairly easy. I say that. Lip gloss is such a personal thing. I think these will all have to go in recycle or trash. I don't feel comfortable repurposing, giving these to anybody else. So anyway, my... Um, oh, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, I'll start with the stuff I really don't like which will be lipsticks. Uh, this Maybelline Green Lip Balm. Not crazy about that. And the actual lipsticks. I have very few of them I actually like at all. This Burt's Bees. Don't like it. I don't know if... It's so unused, but I'm just going to say no. It's just for sanitary purposes, no. I have a little Pat McGrath. I don't like it. I've got a Mac. I don't like another Pat <coughs> McGrath. All of these 
lipsticks. These are minis. They came in various things. Let's see. I have this LA Colors. It's kind of nice with this magnetic closure. Oh, this is hard. I don't like it. It has a bitter aftertaste. I'm going to give up on my very favorite. All these Revlon. There's nothing wrong with these. They're um, the glass shine, but they have gotten old and they taste bitter and funky. This is so hard for me. This is so hard for me. Oh, man. <laughs> I really don't want to have this many lip color in my life. Here are my Milani fetish colors. I'm decluttered. You know, I, <laughs> I don't know. I do know someone really very close to me. Very, very close. That probably she can choose to, whether she wants them or not. I'm not going to throw them out. I'm getting these Revlons. No, these Revlons taste weird. Yeah. You know, I'm getting them back out <laughs> of the trash. All of these lipsticks. Because just because they taste weird to me doesn't mean they're going to taste weird to someone else. It's not like even the, like, the little slant is worn off. I have not worn these very much. So they're going, they're back. My trash is very clean, by the way. Okay, all these minis are back. All the, these are the ones I'm going to get rid of. Merit. Oh. Keep. I've got a Burt's Bees that I don't like. Here's some kind of Nicks I don't like. I mean, there's... <clears throat> I just don't love them. This Elf Balm, I have barely tried that. I'm going to keep that one. This LA Colors, Ulta, Milk Plumping. I do like this. It's pretty hardcore. It tastes like hot peppers in a way. Here's a Clear Balm. Here's a Pillow Talk. Let me see if it's the light or the medium because I do not like the medium. I guess it's just the regular pillow talk. I really don't like I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it, gonna keep it, gonna keep it. Okay, now the glosses, mm, mm I'm gonna have to throw anything with a doe foot, no. These kosis, I'm throwing them away. They have gone bad on me. I love the kosis lip oil. And then my lifter gloss. Oh, the, oh, I can't. I have to keep these. I really only like, for this lifter gloss, the only color I love is the petal. So I'm just going to keep petal. It has a bit of a bitter taste, but I still like it. I think petal's the first color I bought. And then I wanted more. No, petal's not the first color I bought. Okay, I'm keeping petal, and I'm keeping this vinyl lip stick because I love this combination. This is hard. Mm, this is really hard to just throw this out. Here's a little color pop. I know I don't like that. I love this Clinique lips, lip gloss here. It is so inert. This e.l.f. is rock solid you can't even get it out of the tube this is brand new i just had this delivered i can't even get any of it out rare beauty keep oh this is such a pleasure i love this keep 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 lip injection what's this la girl LA Girl Lip Oil. Out of here. I have these two city lips. They're so opaque. It's out of here. It's out. <laughs> AF94 Lip Gloss. Out. 
Oh, this Kush with the magnetic closure. I have that on right now. I'm keeping that. It's getting old. I need to use that up. NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. Barely used. Oh my God. This is killing me. Killing me. Here's a little elf, elf with a hydrating core. I don't like it. It's got a taste. Throwing that away. Monday Feels. Wet and Wild. I love this stuff. Tastes like coffee. These Diamond Lip Plumpers. I don't know if I can get rid of these. I don't know. Let's see. Let's just come back to them. I've got a Fenty Gloss Bomb that's very uh, warm color. Uh -huh. Here's a really old Too Faced lip injection. I know I can throw that out. And then this Milani Fruit Fetish. I don't like that. It has a funky... It's too fruity. And then this NYX Butter Gloss Mini. I can get rid of that. I hate that. Throw that away. Pat McGrath Labs. This is the most opaque gloss satiny pinky crap. No, I can get rid of that. I know I can do that. Cream something. What's that say? Fenty Beauty Cream Gloss Balm. It looks pretty separated and old. I'm throwing it away. Here's a tiny pillow talk. Ah, I like tiny stuff. I'll keep it. Oh, yeah. I hate this. Nick Smooth Whip. Mm -mm. No. All right, now, I have all these elf plumpers. I have them in every single color. And I really haven't even used them. Oh, this is hard. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of them. Here's one I can get rid of. This Clear Elf Lip Lacquer. Nah. Here's a Milani Plumping Gloss. Okay, it's time to get serious. I know for sure I don't like this orange. This orange and these browns. I'm not going to like those. They make my teeth, they make my teeth look yellow. And then that leaves me a whole bunch of light colored ones for the elf. That is so many more than I ever really need. There's one that's very iridescent glitter gold. No. Um, I do like this Milani. It's just luxurious feeling. So I'm going to keep it again, even though it's, it's getting old, but that peppermint. And then, oh yeah, this is kind of an orange one. So now I'm down to four. Oh, yeah, and one of these is way too light. These two, okay. These are too light for me. So I'm just going to keep these two. So I'm down to these four glosses. Because you know I'm going to buy more. <coughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. Uh, Matte LA Girl Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. I didn't like that. This Fenty Lip Stain. This is a tough one. I really like it, but it's so hard to use. It's like a liquid lipstick. And I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, I'm going to give it to my friend, and she can get rid of it. She's going to be like, thanks. Here is a plain balm with cannabis from e.l.f. Do I need to keep that? Ah! I don't know. I don't know. Might go good in the camper. Okay, I'll keep it. I love this. I will be keeping this. Um, Superstay Ink Crayon by Maybelline. This is, I love this as an alternative to a lip liner. 
It, um, it's a matte lip crayon. I really like this. Okay, so I've got this. I'm going to throw this out. I've had this two years. This is a Fenty Gloss Bomb Universal something. It's kind of brown. And I, I used it quite a bit. Here's another e.l.f. I think it has a, a lot of glitter. So I'm going to say no. And then I have these two Merit Lip Oils. I think they have turned on me. That's the thing with this clean, clean formula. Sometimes they get a little funky after a while. Do I have any other lip oils? I got rid of my Kosas. Oh, gosh. Why did I get rid of that Kosas? Because I don't like the taste. Okay, I'll keep this to see if I still... You know what? I really don't like these colors that much. They're both a little brownish. I'm going to get rid of them. So we're back to these diamond plumpers. How many plumpers will I really use? Well, I use these. I've had two years to use these. And then I have these, all of these plumpers. How many will I? I'm going to get rid of the diamond plumpers. <laughs> the lips is a struggle for me. I don't know. Why can't I keep them? I'm, all, I'm still in one container. If I want to keep them, I should. L.A. Lip Mousse Velvet Lip Color. L.A. Girl. No. No. No, 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 no. All right. Now, look at these lip liners. I'm going to... I'm going to go get my glasses. I've got to get my glasses on. All right, I'm back. I have some sustenance here with some Diet Coke and some reading glasses. Y'all want to do the big eyeshadow palettes? Let's do that next. Okay, here we go. This, <clears throat> I really don't have that many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18. I only have 20 eyeshadow palettes. I think that's pretty darn good. <laughs> All right, so I know right off the bat I do not want these Gilded Flora from Milani. They have too much fallout. I never will grab them. They're just a pain. And they're like the Gilded, too much glitter instead of shimmer. Too orange, too much fallout. No, 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 no. This Viseart is starting to get a little bit old and it's not my color story. I have a hard time with orange anywhere on my face. Uh, Sephora Metal Rebel. I bought this last year. Uh, maybe. It's a nice neutral with a lot of cool tones. I'm keeping this one. Keep. MAC Art Library. I got this for $4. It was in the... Um, See, it has a gouge. Where is it? Right here. A big gouge. I got it at that clearance tower in the back of Ulta for $4. They still make it and sell it, but guess what? I don't want it. <laughs> it's going in my giveaway box. It's too orange for me. And so is this. I don't really like anything about the... Oh, no. Well, yeah, I can still do this one. I put tape on all the glitters to see if I might want to use it more. It is too warm, though. It's too warm. And then I've got a 2021 sticker on the back. Let's see if I can get this tape off. Oh, yeah. It's just scotch tape. It's coming right off. So, my friends will like this. Or I might put it in my giveaway. I... I I'm not going to put it in my giveaway because I feel weird about... It still has the little plastic on the mirror, too. I feel weird about that. Everything's different since the pandemic, isn't it? I just don't think that's something we should share anymore with some... Like, I'm a complete stranger. I'm not going to send a giveaway to someone like that. Okay, so all the tape is off, though. You see I have barely dipped into that. I'm going to see if I can take this sticker off the back that says 2020 that I put on there to try to keep up with things. Now I use a dot of fingernail polish. Probably won't need to anymore. I can kind of remember the makeup that I'm keeping. Okay, Stone Cold Fox. I never use it.
I have put tape over two colors that I didn't like, I guess. <laughs> I'm not ready to part with this yet. I just bought this in 2022, the beginning of 2022. I'm ready to part with this Morphe palette. I have to say I did like this formula. Mine's the 35C. It's just not. I'm not a big artistry type person. Look at those colors are pretty though. Have I marked it up? No. I just put tape on it. On some of the glitters. Yeah. No. I, I'm never going to use this. It's mind boggling for me to have to decide all these colors. Mm -mm. I wish I had a someone who had a whole bunch of younger friends. Actually, I do have someone. She has a 16-year-old, a 15-year-old daughter, and I went to her Kinsey and Yarrow recently. There's lots of glittery, shimmery makeup in that age group being worn by those young women. Yeah, that would be the best person because she has a whole network of friends <laughs> at high school to share her makeup share the makeup with. I can't remember a time in my life that I enjoyed makeup more than I did in high school and putting it on and doing it in each other's makeup it was a golden, sweet, wonderful time. College was fun too with makeup, but not quite as much. Twist of Slate Color Pop. Cool. Um, this is new to me this last year. I'm going to keep it. I like the uh, fact I don't have to hunt and peck for the shimmers versus the mattes because they are shimmers on the top and mattes on the bottom. And then it's got this one funky cream in the corner. And then the set in stone is the sister palette, which is nice, but way too warm. Way too warm for me. And then the Naked 3, I'm kind of tired of this and I didn't use it very much either. I did put a little M on the mats. Yeah, I don't, you know what I don't like about this is the shape of the pans. They're annoying. They're small, so I don't know. You just go back, up, down, up, down in them. I'm going to get rid of this. I don't want it. What else do we have? Blush Crush. I've marked it up and I've put tape over the glitters. And I don't know. It's kind of pretty. I really like my little quads better though. Because what happens is I use like three colors in here. When I say I've marked it up, I've made a little M around the mattes. So I'm going to try to get the tape off that and I'm, I'm getting rid of it. Here we go again. Very pink. I'll probably hold on to this because I don't have a lot of pink in my quad, little quads. And it's still relatively small. ColourPop formula is okay. And then this I loved, but now I don't. The Wild Nothings from ColourPop. Once again, I've put um, my Sharpie, made circles around the mats, and I've put a lot of tape in it, which I can take the tape off. I'm going to keep this because of the color story. It's a little, it's um, peachy more than anything. It's not orange, although peach is sort of very light orange. I can wear a peach when I don't want to wear, why am I taking the tape off if I'm keeping it? Duh. Bah. I can wear the peaches when I don't want to wear the um, oranges. There's only like that one right there is a little orange for me. But anyway, I'm keeping this one. Here's one I haven't even opened yet. Stay naked. I'm going to put this in my giveaway. It's brand new. Wet and wild. And then I did open this. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so... And then I've got my Monday feels, which I love. I'm not getting rid of this one. I really like this. I like the color story on that. So I'm keeping that. So I'm going to open this up. And then the last one I need to decide. It's getting pretty old, but it's 
a Natasha Denona. And look how big those pans are. But I don't know about that color. I'm keeping it. No, end of story. Keeping that. If I buy anything, it's going to be, this year, it's going to be a, a mid-range, higher price palette. Or maybe the Alter Ego. I used to have one of those. All right, so let's look at my color stories with this um, naked. Are those similar? Hmm. In a way, this sure has a lot of glitters. And no, hardly any shimmer. Everything, well, well, yeah. Hardly any matte. I'm not going to keep it. I'm getting rid of it. Oh, I don't know. It's wet and wild. I'm trying to be picky about my formula. I'm getting rid of it. All right, so I am down to this, like, really messy color pop. This really messy color pop. You see any duplicates there? Boy, that's very similar, isn't it? Can I live with just one of these? No, because one is rose and one is peach. No, I'm keeping both of these. I'm keeping my Monday Feels, my Cool Tone Twist of Slate. Is this Twist of Slate and this Heavy Metal Sephora similar? They're both very neutral. They are very similar, aren't they? <clears throat> Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to keep the color pop and I'm going to give this away. I have swiped two, three of the colors like once I've used that. So uh, this is going my giveaway, I think. It is like so brand new. And then I'm going to keep this one's a little more used. I did pretty well. I just kept three cheap ones and this one big one. Wow, I have really done well on these primers. That would be fast because I am struggling with so many primers now. Here are my primers in my silverware drawer. Let's hit it. Simple, simple, simple. Elf green primer. I can't even tell it does anything. Same for this Poreless Face Primer Liquid in the Pump by e.l.f. It's going in the giveaway box. Bear With Me Daily Moisturizing Primer. I've had this since 2021. I'm going to get rid of it. Oh, uh, what a loser. This is going in the garbage. This Wet and Wild Jelly Primer. I bought this last fall. What a mess. You have to dip your hands in this jelly. Mm -mm. No. No, 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 no. No. Okay, now I have these. This is brand new. I have never cracked it open. I don't like this. It is gummy. Do you, it's the power grip. It's supposed to be a dupe for this uh, milk. It's more gummy. This isn't as gummy. So anyway, um, I'm getting rid of these. Wet n' Wild Impossible Primer Base. This is that one that's like a chunk in there, and it's, it's impossible. It's weird to use. <coughs> getting rid of it. Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. Tiny. I'm throwing it away. I've used most of that. Tatcha. Ta -ta. This is a sample, this liquid silk. I have two of these, and then I have this one I bought with in the compact. It's supposed to be like the poreless putty primer. Well, the putty primer is supposed to be like this. I for sure don't like these. I'm getting putting this in the giveaway. I think these are both pumps, so they're still pretty sanitary. What? Oh, I I, I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I can't seem to remember getting hyped up. 
This makes my foundation um, settle into wrinkles on foundation formulas that normally do not settle into wrinkles. So if you're struggling to find a some foundations that aren't getting in your wrinkles, watch out for your primers, people. That might be the reason. And watch out, of course, for your sunscreen formula. Elf, vitamin C, putty, no. I think, um, I don't know. I don't know. And I don't like this really either. This Laura Geller Spackle. What I like is a primer that is um, not quite so thick, not quite so blurring, but it just makes my foundation wear better. That works better for me. This kind of fills in a little too much. So what should I do with this? Oh no, here's a loser. Instant Eye, Peter Thomas Roth, this Instant Eye. It's supposed to like, it does suck the bags up and like makes them tight, but it looks weird. And then it turns white and crusty in about 15 minutes. So you're like, what? Do you have like rubber cement under your eyes and you can't put makeup or concealer over it? It is like rubberized is the weirdest thing ever. Mm -mm. Gone. I don't know. I guess I keep holding this, so I guess I'll keep it. All my eye primers are getting thrown out. Um, not sanitary to keep. So we've got Urban Decay burns the heck out of me now. That's my issue, not the product. Sephora Beauty Amplifier Prime burning. Ultimate. I just bought this Shadow Liner NYX but I've used it around my eyes and it's a doe foot Anastasia Beverly Hills I don't remember this burning me maybe I'll keep it and make sure it doesn't burn um wet and wild eyeshadow primer burn burns the heck out of my eyes and then I have this um stick I've never tried cool berry it's got a pretty strong berry fragrance. I have never put it on my face, so it's going in my giveaway. So I'm down to, look at this. <laughs> uh, my favorite primer is right here. Here's the disadvantage. The advantage of this is, oh, then this is the one I'm, kind of barely able to tolerate my eyeshadow primer sorry back to this it dries extremely shiny that is the same problem with these they're extremely shiny so if you don't put makeup everywhere on your face and you just want to put your foundation where you need it or a light coverage then the rest of it is like like shiny like your face is made of plastic not like oily shiny but rubbery shiny and then this is i like this much better it's not as gummy as these but this smells like lemons which is does smell good i think that might be triggering me if you're still watching and you don't know my story i've developed all these reactions to uh, makeup in the past year because I'm trying too many and all these fragrances so I'm having to declutter and go minimalist on my makeup and clean formulas so I'm going to declutter this and it's got a nice pump all right here are my primers <laughs> that is something I will go shopping for I will need to find a primer. Oh, I don't know if I can do my cream eyeshadows. <laughs> First of all, I know which ones I'm getting rid of, though. I already know. Um, right off the bat, I'm getting rid of these e.l.f. no budge in the pots. Cream eyeshadows. Uh, the colors are crazy, and they are more like an eye paint. Then I, I, there's only one color I would possibly keep, and they they look and feel dry to me. 
they are for someone with a little more oily lid and a little more who wants a little more drama in their life so getting rid of them I'm putting them in the giveaway probably because I was very careful with this and I only used this uh, it's not clean at the moment but a sanitized silicone spatula brush to dip it out once put it on my hand then I took a brush and put it on my eyes so I feel a thousand percent good about that let's see what else this little elf is gonna have to be thrown away because it's a liquid eyeshadow that burns me what other uh, oh yeah I know I don't like these most of these matte no budge I don't know if I can get rid of any of my <sighs> sticks I cannot cannot I'm keeping them can I get rid of any of these pots I don't seem to be using the pots I'm not a person who wants to use the pots I've got all these Revlons and no there's nothing in a pot that I don't have a million of the same colors in a stick and they're heavy they're glass you can't put them in your suitcase I will keep my Mac paint pot and that's it that's the only one they're going and then this watercolor blush by uh, water blush let's see what it's called watercolor eye tint by flower beauty it's very pretty but liquid hurts me liquid eyeshadow is different except this one rare beauty liquid eyeshadow it has so much silicone I wish the color was more subtle though it's a little vibrant for me but I'm keeping that one and then this, this color this cream Revlon has been around forever mine is pretty new though but I just don't feel like I'm grabbing it very much and the color these are a little sheer so if you want really subtle 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 that will work and this it looks gross I'm gonna I'm throwing that away nobody wants that then I have my one color pop super shock I think I'll keep it another year it's kind of fun okay so and I have like so many other cream here's a whole bunch on my desk that I was just using the other day I'm gonna keep them I like sticks I like sticks these this is what my primers and my eyeshadows in pots they're going oh yeah my Kiko oh no <laughs> All right, so I have another box here because the tray was so full. I, I need two trays for my cream eyeshadow sticks now. This is sort of like how I am with costume jewelry. I um, zero guilt about keeping a whole bunch of earrings. And I have them when they get really old. I have these tiny, if you'll go to like the craft store, you'll get jewelry Ziploc bags. So I just put them in there and then I have them all crammed into like a makeup cosmetic. It's just a one, like a bucket bag type thing. So you can fit like, you know, 500 pairs of costume jewelry and I just keep them forever. So it doesn't take up much room and it's like a trip down memory lane when every 10 years you want to open it up and look at it. So I'm cool with that. I have no guilt about that. That's kind of going to be how my cream eyeshadow sticks are. No guilt. I hope I can continue to wear them. I'm going to pay attention to that e.l.f. formula and that NYX formula. And if it's irritating, I will get rid of those two brands. Okay, here we go with highlighters. Yes, this is that new Halo Glow e.l.f. This is the well-loved Charlotte Tilbury Holly, Flawless Hollywood Filter, complete with a hair stuck in it. Yes, I'm keeping these. Uh, let's see. I've got this Merit highlighter stick. I very much like this. I'm keeping this. I'm going to go ahead and discard my Wet n Wild one. I've got this Perfector 4-in-1. Supposed to be a dupe for this. Let's see. These are surprisingly nice. These are the Baked Highlighter 
from e.l.f. The thing is, I don't need this many highlighters in my life, except for traveling. This would be nice because that's when I might actually get a little cray-cray and wear a little more highlighter, and then these are not liquid, so... And you've got a cool and a warm. I'm keeping these. Okay, and I have a little bitty Dior, <laughs> which is nice, but Dior has fragrance. Woo, smells like a flower garden. So I'm getting rid of that one. So now I have, I don't have that many. I have four liquids. No, I have three liquid, one stick, Two powder. I feel pretty good about keeping that. Although I use I use highlighter less than anything any other product. Oh, airbrush flawless setting spray, Charlotte Tilbury. I've noticed setting spray works best. I don't want to do this. It will set me off. This one's got too much perfume. Too much perfume for me. I'm going to. Let's see, this one I really liked, Cover FX. See what it smells like. Thing about these, zero fragrance, I'm keeping this. I really did like this. Um, the thing about this, I can't seem to get this out, is I don't use it that much because it works better if you're using powder on your face, powder blush, powder eyeshadow, all of that, it will give you like a softer look with a setting spray. It takes the powdery look away. I don't use so many powders anymore. So therefore, huh, you know, matte, NYX matte finish spray. I can easily say goodbye to that. And then the MAC Fix It and Forget It versus Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't know. I do know I hate the pump on this. Getting rid of it. The all-nighter. Let's see what this smells like. So then I'd have one. Huh. No smell. I'd have one that's got some skin-loving ingredient and then one classic, and they're both mini. I think I can keep these two. Okay, moving on to powder. This is what we have way too much for a girl that doesn't even use powder. <laughs> My all-time favorite. It's just enough to, um, <laughs> it's on my desk somewhere. Things are getting crazy on my desk. All right, my all-time favorite is that Compact by NARS Crystal Translucent. It's invisible for me. So, um, let's see. I can easily get rid of this. I, this does nothing for me. I don't like it. And I can get rid of this. It may be fine for people who are really into powder, but this is such a big honking container. And mm -mm, I'm not that into loose powder. Okay, so I have three Elf's, a NARS, a banana powder. Oh, so Elf. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh, that's in the wrong place. I'm keeping that. I have, so I only have two. I have Halo Glow and HD Powder. And then I have my NARS Loose. <sighs> Laura Mercier, the new one. That's a no blur with no talc. Yes, I'm keeping that. I have a tiny mini hourglass. Maybe I could just try to use this up. I'm starting to use the uh, loose powder on my neck. And then I have a Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe I can use that up. How much? I don't know. Well, you know what? Also, it's good for the camper because I like to wear makeup sometimes when we're camping and we're going out to dinner. And that way I don't have to pack my makeup. So I'm going to keep, keep those. So now I'm down to these. Do I really want this crap? Honestly, no. No, the only loose powder I'm gonna keep is the Laura Mercier because it's the newest and it doesn't have talc. Oh, then, and this banana powder I've never used. Concealers and color correctors. 
That's going to be tough because honestly, I used I used two of them the most. They're already on my desk. Color FX Power Play Concealer, Lancome Tint a Doll Concealer. Even though the one I have is a little bit dark for my skin tone. So much money in here. Ridiculous. This is that hundred dollar piece of Sicily from France. Phyto Phyto I concentrate with botanical. Should I give it another chance? Nars Creamy, Milani. You know what I want to do? I need to just say, and look at all these elf camos. It was on 60% off. So I got like hyped up about it. How I was going to like find the perfect color. I haven't even opened these. Almost all of, oh, almost threw my Lancome away. It's still pretty new. The NYX Bear With Me. That was nice, but it creases. This is okay, but I don't like the sponge and it's, it, Seems to have oxidized on me. Color Stay Skin Awaken. Wet n Wild. Photo Focus. None of these, this by Terry. None of these really did anything for me. And then this green, these color, these green color correctors that I used to use on my birthmark. Really, you know what happens? It looks gray and then you have to put more, um, colored concealer on top when I can just use a little bit of concealer right there and I'm good. So I'm not keeping this. I'm not keeping them. They're all, all of this is going. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Whew. Mascara and then I'm done. I mean, I have brushes, but I kind of went through those recently. All right, so mascara is going in the garbage. <laughs> uh, Princess Elizabeth CPC, I liked it, but I don't love it. Lash Princess, I tried this like three times. It's supposed to be so great. False lash effect. <clears throat> I hate this stuff. Dry, 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 dry. Didn't seem to do anything but clump. Garbage. Uh, Big Papa Wet n Wild. I love this. This is still fresh. Elf something stupid, plain, going in the garbage. Uh, Elf Big Mood purpley thing. Hate it. Brush is huge. Way too big for me and gloppy and goopy and not my not my vibe. All right. Um. I do like, oh, I don't like that. I do like that one. I like these. So I've got Lash Paradise. My Sky High is a one that I've all, I like, like, like. This is the third tube I've had. But it is at least six months old and getting a little dry. So I can chunk that. I've got this new thing here, but I'm just going to put it in my giveaway box because it says LA Girl Fiber. If I was still testing and making all my videos, like comparing mascaras, I might keep it. So I'm keeping my e.l.f. Lash It Loud because it's almost brand new. I've used it like twice. And you know what I like? It's got a very precise tip. Very small. My favorite mascara is Merit Tubing. I don't have any right now. And then I liked this um, size up. This reminds me a lot of that Fenty Full Frontal Volumizing Mascara. The, both the case, the formula, the brush. It's pretty much a dupe for it. So I have this. And then Lash Paradise I do like. It's uh, formulated for sensitive eyes. So do I need four mascaras to work through? No, but could I, let's see, they're all fresh enough that I could use them up and I wouldn't be wasting that. So I will, I will do that. Oh, here's one more City Beauty mascara. That's way old. Okay, here are my lip liners. This should be very, no, eyeliner. This should be very easy. I love my Shusido Micro Eyeliner. End of story. 
I do like this Clio, but I have concerns because it's made in Korea. So I'm throwing it out. And then I do like this Shockwave Metallic. Um, but it's, it's a big tip, and I just don't like, I like a micro. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm going to freak, okay, here we go. These are my Shiseido Micro Eyeliner. I have a, a, a navy and a brown. Look how little that is. It is perfection. Worth every penny. I bought them the navy in 2021 so it's getting old but i'm keeping i'm keeping these two and then these are going what is this shape and stay brow pencil so somehow a brow product has got in there this flower beauty is supposed to be a white kind of thing no this maybelline master precise skinny is pretty good but it's not as smooth and easy to use as my Shiseido and I already have Shiseido and it's getting old throwing that away um, I've got a NYX epic wear liner stick fat tip is what I would call it or you could sharpen it all the time mm -mm. no uh, Sephora eyeliner it's just your regular kind with the bigger retractable it's just too big these are too big for me now <laughs> throwing them away revlon color stay micro i do like this there's another micro it's not as tiny well maybe it is but it's dry and hard to put on and it tugs way too much um wet and wild backflip what breakup proof waterproof I'm sure it's fine, but I don't need it, and it's not a micro tip. And I've already used it. I'm throw having to throw these out. And then this other NYX. So don't look to me for advice on eyeliner. Here's a little thing I never use. This looks like a really good way to poke your eye out. It's supposed to be like for your lashes. Mm -mm. No. No, no, no. Not for me. And then these two things I've yet to use... I've got a co I, e.l.f. eyeliner coffee. One's coffee and one's black. I know I don't want the black pen, eyeliner pen. I'm going to try the coffee so I have something new and exciting to look for. And then brow. I can clear out my brows so fast. Where are they? I have very few brow products that I like, if any. If any. This little thingy thingy, I like it fine, but it's clear and it's expired. Um, let's see, what else have I got here? Um, this e.l.f. powder. No, it's the wrong color for me. You want, know ironically, I've got a box at UPS right now with some more e.l.f. in it. Uh, when I say UPS store, I have a, a P.O. box there. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've got two of these. I'm surprised. Once I bought this tool to use on this, you like get this stuff out with the little spatula and put it on the back of your hand. Then you use the brush. I sort of started liking this stuff. Do I need two of them? No, but I've opened them. I'm never going to use them all. This elf is supposed to be a dupe for the Anastasia. I'll just keep the expensive one. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to keep it. I've got this Revlon Color Stay. It's time to get rid of it. I just don't like it. It's not as easy to put on or use as CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. I'm throwing it away. I've got this Merit. I did like this. It's more than a year old and it was getting a little dry because I, I did use this a lot. I have this Ulta Beauty little powder, brow powder, but it is color is a little warm for me now that I've gone gray so I'm not gonna keep that and then the tattoo studio you know I might try that again 
with this e.l.f. tool. What is this called? Brow Lift Applicator. I may try that one more time. That gives me something to try with my brows. Currently got a brow wow and I don't need an easy breezy. This is getting dried out. I'm gonna let that go. I've got this Rare Beauty. This is a very rubbery silicone type thing that you put on. It, kind of like a powder. It goes on your skin. It's called pomade. I think some people will put it on their brow. <sighs> Extra little brow brush. All right. I don't know. Is this too many brow products? No. I mean, I think that's enough. I haven't tried this yet. Let's see if I've even... Put a, I don't even know if I've put it on my... It's brand new. I'm going to put this in the giveaway. All right, so I got rid of one. Now here's the big decision. Uh-oh. Do I really want to mess with this anymore? Or do I just want to use a brow mascara? Honestly, I just want to use a brow mascara. And I really don't want to use this clear stuff anymore. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. I'll keep the more expensive one. I'll keep this. I've never used this in two years. I'm getting rid of this tattoo. And then I'll keep this little e.l.f. brush. E.l.f. stick. So I have three e.l.f. eyebrow, four e.l.f. eyebrow pencils now. I don't need that many. I don't even like that formula. So anyway, that's that. I'm doing so well. I'm putting this back on the shelf. That's it. That's it. Anything else? Primer. That's it. I've gone through every single category. I'm going to um, pick the camera up and I'm going to show you the stack. Thank you for being here. This is a long video. I um, appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm Maggie D. I'm saying goodbye, and I'll see you in my next video.